Hello guys, this is your reading for September. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Huh. What jumped out here, I'm not putting them down, but I will definitely show them to you is the Nine of Wands and Justice. This is you guys really wanting to do the right thing, I feel. Really wanting to do the right thing, weighing your options. What's going on for Leo's in love for September? Leo in love for September. Eight of Pentacles. Something that you're concentrating on that you are wanting to build. You guys are, you have your eyes on a prize here and you're really trying to protect it. I feel like there is a family unit that is involved here. Um, finances are also involved here. You guys have been working on yourselves, working on a connection here. Um, very grounded and stable energy. I feel Virgo energy there. Let's crossing Leo's. It's crossing Leo's. He shouldn't just crossing Leo's. King of Wands. Really sticking to what it is that, that you are doing right now. Whatever plan you have, whatever you're working on, is staying with that and seeing it through to the end here. It's what's crossing you. Not giving up. Okay. What is the underlying issue here for Leo's King of Cups? Developing emotions, um, being emotionally stable. I feel like there's something that you are actually not only needing to continuously put your effort into, but to also put your heart into, to put your emotions into. Okay, and this is whether it is um, in your finances, in a job, a career, um, a business, or a relationship. Okay, this is primarily relationships since this is love, but um, it could definitely be a financial situation for um, some of you as well. Okay, in the recent past for Leo, please show me. What's been going on in the recent past for Leo's? The Hermit, soul searching, kind of going over things that have happened in your past to, to really kind of figure out what path you're supposed to be on right now. Of course, the Hermit, if you've heard me say it once, you've heard me say it a thousand times, the Hermit is looking for their soulmate. So it's somebody I feel like from your past that you are reevaluating, analyzing a situation, okay? Trying to figure out what went wrong so that will not happen again. Again, Virgo energy. Crowning thoughts for Leo. Please show me crowning thoughts for Leo. Let's move this down a little bit. Any thoughts for Leo? <clears throat> King of Swords. Just that. You guys are really um, trying to think about the situation very logically. And it's coming across as non emotional, kind of aloof, not cold, but very analytical. Because the underlying issue here is the lack of emotional involvement. So that needs to come into play. Right now, it's, it's, you're kind of coming across as the emperor and not really making a lot of forward movement, waiting for someone to um, come to you, show you, you know. <clears throat> so. The emotional involvement and investment is what's underlying here. Okay. What's coming in for you guys? What's coming in? Okay, card just fell on the floor. And I'm looking at it and it is the devil. Yeah, my chair rolled back. Um, we have the devil energy here. Capricorn energy. 
you know, this is, this is a toxic energy, but in your reading, I don't really see it as something that's horrible. I feel like you guys are really, really focused because your central energy right now is building. It's working on something, trying to complete something, putting a lot of effort into something. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're working really, really hard. There is a very strong sexual attraction here. I feel like for some of you, you're kind of overdoing things. And I feel that mostly it's like overthinking things, to be honest with you here with this Capricorn energy, okay? How is Leo viewing the situation? How is Leo viewing the situation? The Ace of Swords, you've got it in the bag. You feel like um, you know what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing to get what it is that you want. I'm also feeling that you guys want to have an open, honest communication with someone, a conversation with someone here, hmm. and maybe you should, maybe, you know, you guys are kind of talking yourselves out of something or even into something because you haven't actually had a conversation with the person that um, you're trying to build something with, okay, what is the influence? Okay, for Leo, look at this. Six of Cups. Soulmate. You know, there's always something a little bit different with the Six of Cups energy because it's a nice, it's a nice balance. It's it's working together. It's having shared experiences, shared love, shared family. There's more to the Six of Cups than just love. There's family, there's camaraderie, there's, there's, it's beyond just having um, emotions for somebody or liking somebody. You know, you, you feel something different with this person. There's something more there. The Six of Cups always reminds me of um, a situation where even if, you know, this person was handicapped you would be there regardless you would for some reason my camera just kind of froze but um just picking up because i had pulled uh, the ten of swords right after this but just kind of like continuing with the six of cups energy this is always a situation where um most always a situation where there is not just emotions that are shared between the two of you but something way deeper this is like real really and truly soulmate type of energy where you guys may separate and come back together and even during the separate times you still feel this connection with this person because it's like kindred spirits for some for some reason you tend to be drawn to each other even if you don't get back together in a relationship but also more so than that this is somebody that you've known for a long time that you may have um, children with or grandchildren with even okay this is somebody that say for instance and I think I started it before the video cut off if one of you is handicapped at some point in life you will not leave this person is the thing because there there's something you know deeper beyond the surface level that is going on between the two of you now your hopes or fears is the ten of swords here you don't want whatever issues that you guys have been through because you've been through a lot here with the ten of swords there's ten swords there so there's been a lot of um what one may feel like is backstabbing to the other and vice versa a lot of hurt and you don't want that to continue or to be a hindrance for you guys 
So it's like you really and truly want to start over. You really want to share um, a conversation with this person to basically say, hey, let's start from here. Can we do that? Is what I'm getting here. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what the outcome is for you guys. What is the outcome for Leo? This is Gemini energy, Scorpio energy here. Outcome for Leo's. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Definitely having a conversation and feeling like it's needed. Like you have to do it in order to talk about and move past what you guys have experienced before in the past. Okay? So, Aquarius, Gemini, um, Aries, maybe another Leo like yourself, Sagittarius energy, Capricorn energy, Scorpio, um, Virgo energies here. Could also be Pisces and Cancer. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you. Sorry about the, the cutoff in the video, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.